beautiful people. Good morning and welcome to Expose and Express online talk show. So this is Jenny Umani. I am your host and let's all welcome my co-host Burns, Rochi, and Irina. And I would love to introduce to you our very beautiful and gorgeous guest. Her name is Melissa Charter and she's from Connecticut. She's a licensed esthetician and owns City Beauty Secrets. And her mantra in life is, love your own kind of beautiful. Thank you so much for being here and for the opportunity to meet you. And of course, share all the things that you know about the beauty inside and out. And so I have a question for you. Okay. What is your past story? What, uh, what is it that you do before you start your business now? And uh, what made you decide to, to really like uh, have your own business? Sure. Um, it all began, I actually became a math teacher. And I have a lot of friends who are educators. And the opportunity came up where I could be part of a community of women who go into people's homes and help them um, with, with their, their beauty, beauty routine, their skin routine, their makeup routine. So I joined that company and I met such amazing women. And I was really young at the time. I want to say I was in my mid twenties and a girlfriend of mine called, she was going through a divorce and, or had, the divorce was over. She had called me and needed help putting on her makeup. She was going out for the evening. <laughs> and this was really the moment I felt like I had an impact on someone feeling great to get back out there after going through such a horrendous time in her life. I remember vividly going over her house. I had just started in this um, beauty company and we were in her bedroom and I was nothing fancy. It wasn't a big glam full on. It wasn't um, anything spectacular. It was just me in that moment, putting eyeshadow on, applying mascara and her going from the bedroom into the bathroom and her smiling and her feet like, you know, she just kind of sat up a little taller and excited to go out. I believe it was her first date. This was years ago, so I'm trying to remember, but I think it was like her first or second date with this gentleman. And that is, was a defining moment for me that I, that people looked to me to make them feel better. Yes. So that was the start of it. And then it just kind of grew from there more. I would go into more people's homes and realize that a lot of women and I say women, not that I'm excluding men, but it was mostly women who invited me into their homes. They needed a lot of help with their skincare, with their makeup. And I loved it. I loved getting in <laughs> brush and doing my thing. <laughs> Just watching the women come alive through these gatherings. Then the company went to the wayside. It like shut its doors after I was involved, I want to say four or five years. Still very good friends with all those women I met. Entrepreneur kind of mentality. All of us, you know, wanting to make money, but um, doing something we love at the same time. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, fast forward. Um, I decided to make it happen about 10 years ago. I said, I'm going to become an esthetician. It's just going to happen. Meanwhile, I'm still teaching my regular teaching position. <laughs> I'm still teaching mathematics, but all this like weekends and nights. And then I went to school at nighttime as well. I got a certification in makeup artistry, went to school to become a licensed esthetician. And really the only feasible way for me to do what I love was to do it part time. So I opened up um, a business inside of a salon. That's how I started. Nice. Then from there, I went to teach at Paul Mitchell doing their skin and their aesthetics program. Oh, nice. A year and decided working about, <laughs> I don't know, 14 hours a day. And I will remind everyone I have five children from the ages of 25 to nine. Whoa. Oh. So I just, it was a lot. 
ended up going back into opening my own business, Connecticut Beauty Secrets, made it official, official two years ago, and now I have my own facial room. That's the short version.